on Twitter today. Someone asked if uh, you could use uh, the GPIO, GPIO pins on a cable with a length of greater than 5 meters. I said that sounded like a good question. Um, I am actually in need of that, almost. Um, here's a, uh, This is my Pi heater board. It's uh, going to drive two steppers um, with Cat5 cable. These are uh, Cat5 jacks. Sorry about the poor lighting. Anyways, I'm going to be using pretty long cable. This cable right here, um, that's about five feet, um, maybe two meters. So this is what I had been doing the testing with, and I'll go ahead and plug that in and demonstrate it. Just standard Cat5 patch cord, but I'm using it just to transmit the stepper signals. So, uh, well, I I've got four of the GPIO pins come straight down this along with five volts. Um, to a uh, ULN 2003, ULN2003 um, driver chip that I'm using to drive um, one of these uh, $3 eBay steppers. This gauge is a uh, ounce force inches uh, gauge. It uh, shows how much torque is required to rotate something. And uh, this needle will stay where it got to before it stopped. So what I do is I hold the stepper still and I hold this thing still and while the, while the stepper's running and it will go until it can't turn anymore it, it loads up a spring that's been calibrated it's actually got a calibration um, certification on it but uh, it, will, it will tell me how many um, ounce force inches and you can convert that to metric if you want to use that so let me fire up the stepper here there we go and it's running now, if you look real closely, you can kind of see this thing. I've got it in the high torque setting rather than the high speed setting. So here we go. This is a reference with the, uh, the shorter cable. This is about two meters. Okay, that was all it would take. And uh, if we look real closely, that was about seven. Okay. Now, we will... Now... 5 meters is great, but how about 25 meters? I have here a, a 25 meters translates to about 82 feet. Um, here's 100 feet of Cat5, just standard Cat5. Um, why stop at 25 meters when you, or why stop at 5 when you can go like 30 or so? So, let's swap cords. I'm going to knock my fancy gauge over. The stepper plugged in. Now we'll fire it up again. Now this is the raw GPIO signal coming out of the Raspberry Pi through a hundred feet of Cat5 into the driver chip. The five volts is coming down this cable as well, which is what it's driving the motor with. But the signals are still 3.3 volt. Um, so here we go. And as you can see, it's moving just fine. Um, let me re-zero the gauge, and here we go. There's four, five, six. Yeah, we we made it about six and a half. Maybe we could even call it six. So there's a little bit less torque than there was with the shorter cable, but clearly the signals are getting through just fine. Obviously, I'm not doing any communication at this distance, but uh, the signals are making it down there and the voltage is remaining high enough that it's still able to trigger, trigger the logic as well as the uh, send enough voltage down to run the motor. So it's 100 feet of Cat5 which really wasn't designed to be motor driver cord. So I'd call that a good success.